Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to try more of a vlog style video. We are going on a trip tomorrow for Thanksgiving. We're going to be visiting family and normally they're two and a half hours away but since we are traveling with a small child it's going to be more like three and a half, four hours so that's going to be fun. We are planning to stop a couple of times for our baby just so that he can run around, stretch his leg and not be so bored in the car all the time. So today is Wednesday the 24th. We'll be driving out the morning of Thanksgiving. So it's supposed to rain also tomorrow. So fingers crossed that we have a safe trip. But for now, I want to show you my travel journal kit that I set up just for our trip. This is going to be our first trip out since last year when everything locked down. So I'm really excited. I haven't seen my family since that time. And we were also supposed to meet up on March 2020. Like exactly the weekend that we were all supposed to go up to Austin to meet up, everything locked down. So that was really sad and disappointing. So hopefully our trip goes well this time. So here is my travel kit. It's the Delphonics medium pouch. And I used to store this in my drawer. This is where I would keep my supplies, but I took all of that out and rearranged my crafting drawer a little bit. And I'm using this now as a travel kit. So here's the inside. I tried not to stuff it too much with too many things. It's very tempting to take my entire planner journal stack with me, but we're only going to be away for a couple of days. So just try to hold out a little bit. So first off, I have my Galen leather slip and zip pouch. This is where I store all of my journaling supplies and I will be opening this up later. But then I also have my planner. My Hobonichi Weeks, I am going to be taking it with me. And I have it in my Chic Sparrow Creme Brulee Cascade Folio. I don't think I've shown this on my channel before, but look at that gorgeous texture. Here's the back. I asked them for lots of wrinkles and texture, and they really came through for me. So this thing is so gorgeous. I'm so in love with this cover. And then... I'm also bringing my journal with me, which is the Passport Traveler's Notebook. And I've already filmed a setup video for this. I am bringing an Ollie clip with me just for deco. I really like that look. And then lastly, I'm bringing my Canon IV printer. And I don't know if this is overkill or not, but I figured maybe my family would want to print out some pictures while we're there and they can go ahead and have it. These are all the things that I'm going to be taking with me. I'm not taking my personal rings because that's more of a reference home binder nowadays and that's not going to be relevant for this trip. And I am going to be taking my passport traveler's notebook wallet, obviously. And then as far as my journal goes, not much has changed. The only thing that's changed is I finished that metallic silver insert and I'm now using the MD paper insert that came with my passport traveler's notebook when I bought this. And I'm really loving the paper. There's a lot of personal journaling, so can't show very much, but there's been a lot of writing in this insert, and I'm really loving the paper quality. And then my Hobonichi Weeks. I don't know if I'm going to be doing any planning over there, because it's supposed to be kind of like a mini vacation, but I'm taking this more so that I can show my mom and my relatives how I use my planner and get them to see and feel what a Chic Sparrow notebook cover looks like because I don't think they've seen a traveler's notebook like this before, like the kind of quality that our community is used to. So I'm looking forward to seeing what their reaction is to this because this is just especially gorgeous. <laughs> and then my Galen Leather slip and zip case. So this is my main journal kit for traveling. So here is what I have inside. I do have the pen holder that came with the slip and zip case and I have my two fountain pens that I currently have inked up. I have four inked up right now but these are the two that I'm taking with me. My Jinhao X450 in the medium nib with the Atramentous Document ink. My Twisby Eco with Moodler's X Feather. And honestly, I'm not sure if I'll be able to use my fountain pens much for the trip because it is just a few days and we're probably going to be busy just hanging out and I think my family wants to take my son out to a park so 
this is more again just showing my family what fountain pens are like and just kind of getting them involved in my hobby you know we haven't seen each other in such a long time so this is one of those things that are like this is what i've been up to this is what i'm liking nowadays and if one of them wants to try a fountain pen then all the better and then here i have my brush pen and then i have a spare ballpoint pen this is the zebra b len ballpoint pen i recently got this and it's become my favorite ballpoint pen so this is the one i have on my planner the black one and then i went ahead and grabbed the pink one also because it's such a cute color and i don't know i just felt like taking a spare ballpoint pen with me because i love this pen so much and i don't know i'm a little paranoid about possibly losing it even though i don't think i will but I'm just gonna keep my spare here So there's that and then I also have a glue stick in my slip and zip case, a couple of sticker packs that I want to use up, my Galen leather blotting paper, then I have my Coquillo stencils and some washi tape cards here that I haven't filled up but I'm just keeping it here to remind myself to do that one of these days and then I have a spare pack of zinc paper from my Canon Ivy printer and then I have my petite scissors here so this might seem overkill for a long weekend but the great thing about this setup is it's also going to work for when we come home and I can just stuff this case in my drawer and it'll have everything I need for a quick journaling so that's going to be very very useful for me going forward so that all goes in my Delphonics pouch and it fits really nicely. Here's what they look like inside. And I'm just gonna put this in my little duffel bag and we're good to go. And then in addition to my travel journal kit, I am also going to be stashing some notebooks. So I filled up this little bag with notebooks that I don't see myself using any time in the future and I figured maybe my relatives can get some use out of them. Maybe, maybe not, but I'm just offering in case they need new notebooks for whatever reason. So here's the notebooks that I'm going to be de-stashing. I have this B6 Slim Traveler's Notebook that I bought on Amazon and it's a really cute design. I'm just not really using B6 right now and I really like the standard size so I figured maybe somebody else can use this. And then I have this Exceed Extra Large Notebook. This is the same size as a Moleskin Extra Large. And I'm not really using this size. So again, if my family wants it, they can have it. And then I have a pair of DesignWorks Ink Notebooks here. And these are beautiful notebooks. Like I especially love this cover but the paper quality isn't cutting it for me anymore and i don't really like lined paper it's not a deal breaker but i would prefer a graph or dot grid so i'll be offering this as well and hopefully somebody takes these notebooks it would not be great if i came home with all of these and then what else do i have here i have a loitch term pocket notebook it's not technically pocket it's six inches tall by 3.5 inches wide which is kind of a weird size for me but as much as i love the leuchtturm paper i don't know i'm not gravitating towards this so it's gonna go in the d-stash d-stash pile for my family and then i have this print passion weeks notebook this is a half year. I don't know if this was a misprint or not, but I counted up the weeks in this notebook and it's 26 weeks. So I thought that was weird. Um, maybe somebody would want to use this. Who knows? And then I have my GLP Creations author notebook. This is Tomoe River Paper, 68 GSM. Again, lined paper, so not too crazy about it. And then my Midori MD blank notebook. I'm also not crazy about blank. I really like having a hard guideline on my notebook. So grid paper for me is the best. So I did cut this down to a moleskin large size, as you can see. And as much as I love the empty paper, again, I can't really work with blank paper. So 
that's another notebook that's gonna go in the D stash bag. So all of this is going into the D stash bag and if my relatives want any of these, they are more than welcome to it. All right, so that's what I have for now. I'm gonna try my best to film our trip. I am a little bit self-conscious of filming with other people around, but I'm gonna try to sneak a couple of minutes here and there. Hopefully I can slap together a decent vlog with all of my footage and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye! Happy Friday! So we are just hanging out here in my uncle's garden. It's beautiful and Thanksgiving went really well. Um, you know, it's really nice to be able to catch up with family and towards the end of the night I did get to show my journal kit and um, my mom was super excited. Um, she also bullet journals and she showed me her favorite notebook, her favorite pen. Uh, she uses a Leuchtturm A5 stuff cover and her favorite gel pen is a pencil Energel and she did let me do a quick flip of her bullet journal as long as I did the Instagram privacy filter so I'll insert a clip of that here and today I think we're just going to have a chill day I am a little bit tired from our trip yesterday it was a little rough so I think today we're just going to focus on relaxing um, hanging out with each other now that's the whole point of this trip, right? Um, we're not really huge on Black Friday shopping, so we might go to a zoo later. We'll see how it goes, and um, yeah, see you guys later. Happy Monday friends! So I didn't get to film much towards the end of our trip but we did have a really fun and relaxing meetup with my family. It was such a great weekend and we got home on Saturday afternoon. The drive went really well. My son didn't get sick so that's good. And then I decided to just take it easy and rest for a couple of days and now it's Monday night and I decided to change out all of my covers for December. I usually wait till the first day of the month to switch out my covers, but I'm just so excited this time around. Something about Christmas, I'm really feeling the holiday spirit and I wanted to have sort of a Christmassy color scheme here. So my Moterm companion wallet hasn't changed simply because I don't have another traveler's notebook with the back pocket. For the passport size anyway and i don't really feel like buying another one right now i love my burnt orange so much although i am thinking about getting the mustard color one of these days but i'm still thinking about it because i'm really happy with this one and then for my hobonichi weeks i switched to the chic sparrow austin drummond what's the name it's the burgundy color it's coming off kind of brown on camera but it's this really nice deep red it's so beautiful and I noticed with this cover, it was really stiff when I tried to put my weeks in and I didn't have that problem with my Emma, which I also have, so hopefully this cover softens up over time, but I really love this color and it's already marking up. We'll see how it looks in a month. So I did use my creme brulee for a month and it's already developed this beautiful patina. And it's gotten so soft 
it's just so pliable now it's amazing i love the creme leather so that is my weeks and then for my personal rings which i use as a reference binder for the home and some social media stuff and also throwaway notes i switched to my philofax personal molded in ochre i've had this molded for a while now and i feel like i never really get to be in here for a good while i always feel like trying out a different personal rings planner that i have but this time around i really want to be in this planner and put some more love into it i did buy pre-love so it already has this gorgeous patina and before this i was using my let me see if i remember this the philofax chester in the i think the deep red i'm gonna have to look up the website because i forgot the exact color but it's the burgundy red color as well so there's the black the dark brown and then this red color so i got the red one and i bought this last year as a christmas present for myself <laughs> next is my baby journal which i am in a pocket size moleskin weekly and i switched to the chic sparrow march hair deluxe or not deluxe cascade and i added this really cute bear charm from traveler's factory and the march hair leather feels so good it's got this really nice texture to it it feels a lot like the camo traveler's notebook and i already have a scratch on this tn from tying up this charm this string came with the traveler's factory package by the way and rather than untying the middle string here i decided to just tie up the charm with the string that came with it and it looks super cute i didn't really do the ribbon well but but i struggled a little bit with tying it up and this looks fine for me and then lastly i have my passport size traveler's notebook journal and this cover is from aliexpress so it doesn't have a back pocket it does have a clasp which i find limits how much i can stuff in this tm because the strap isn't very long so i can only stuff it so far before the clasp won't close at all i tried to use this as a wallet actually and it would not fit these inserts into this tn the clasp just couldn't even reach the edge of the tn so i decided to use this as a journal instead and the green goes really well with the rest of the covers i have it's a nice little pop of color because there's a lot of browns and neutrals and I have the dark red here also. And that will be my cover lineup for December. And that's it for this vlog. Let me know if you enjoy this kind of format. I might be doing a Christmas one as well if you enjoyed it. And I hope you all have a lovely holiday season. This is Spellbound Notes and I'll see you next time. Bye!